Because when Cameron was in the airport and a black man said, why you don't film people with black people in it? He said, I did. They're blue. The movie Avatar. He doesn't dig in Iceland or Greenland. He digs in Africa, he digs in India, he digs in South America. And everywhere he finds, he finds black people buried. So you have to understand the war that destroyed this plane of existence where the people that I showed you, the deep black people, who were spirit-bound people, whose melanin used to be what I call prismatic melanin. Prismatic meaning that his consciousness or your emotions used to change the color from and the black and used to glow the color of your emotions. Red, green, blue, the chakra colors. And that's why you can see Senegalese today. If you go to Senegal, black, black, and they have some kind of blue over the top of their eyes. And the red or the green on the side of their faces. How is it that a black a man or woman so black they're green? Or so black they're blue? Are you understanding and understanding exactly that they are the remnants of the original people that were here? Now understand what I'm saying to you, because when Cameron was in the airport and a black man said, why you don't film people with black people in it? He said, I did. They're blue. The movie Avatar. Overstand and serve that, that you are not what you are. You have been deficient. Let me tell you that your, your melanin right now is not is not really glowing at what it's supposed to be right because if you ever look at dirt dirt brown just like that but what grow from dirt the green the blues the clouds the flowers well that's what's wrong with you right now you don't have the green hue that grows from the brown earth and you are your face and everything your body you have been deprived you have been decommissioned from your true nature and you do not, that's why the animals don't want to talk with you anymore. You vibrate an alien energy. So just like the plants, when they're alive, they're green, and when they're dying, they turn brown? Look at you. You see it? You see it now, right? You go from what? Summer? Mm -hmm. To what? Fall. Ah. Fall. Now, what happened to the green in the fall? It turned wrong. Wow. So what happened with the fall of, of man? You coming out of your prismatic melanin. You came out of the fact that you had a connection to your chakras. And those chakras were your power. That was your energy patterns that you used to dynamo. There's the dynamos that used to grow, that used to spin, and you used to create instantaneously. You used to turn waves into matter just by thinking it, just by imagining it. This entire plane was actually crystal. You were on a giant crystal. And the crystal was the harmonic interspace, interchange between you and your thoughts. Where did all the dirt come from? Where did all the earth come from? The earth came later. After you were convinced that your thinking and the creation that you were dealing with was not real. Somebody convinced you that that was only your illusion. That your ability to create instantaneously with your thoughts were nothing but an illusion. So okay, so there's this golden, golden app for joy that's supposed, supposed to free the, free the world or free will itself. The app that they call. Okay, so there's okay, this golden app joy that's supposed to free the world or free will itself. The apple of Eden they call. The apple of Eden. They say it's a real, real day, day in this movie. This movie. <laughs> Y'all know, know something, something about this. I don't know much about the. Apple of Eden, man, but it appears to be some type of high technology. They said it was found around the Columbus time. And with this technology, you know, it's supposed to uh, make you do everything they want you to do. You know, take away your ability to have free will. 
back, back, back it up a little bit. This is at Assassin's Creed movie back in 2013. Hey, fair use in your caboose, Bo. Fair use, fair use. We just going to do some, you know, research and education and teaching and stuff, man. So, copyright 107, you know what I mean? Look, man. <laughs> Hey, shout out to my Naga that recommended. I watched, I watched this, man. One of my Nagas in the comments. I have to read the comments, man. I'm on it with y'all. Y'all. I'm slow, but I'll get there, man. So, so the Sultan, Sultan gives, gives this, this, I guess, bishop or whatever he is, the apple, the apple of Eden, because he, he had it. He was, he was supposed to be protecting it. The Sultan, the Sultan. okay. Put it together. Remember, remember it's a more, more and more war, war though. Remember, remember it's, it's a more and more war. I just, I just dropped something, something on Avatar, Avatar but, but, you know, I'm going to start, I'm start talking about some comic books, books against some, some of that Kang, because we talk Kang with, with the present John, John flow, with, with, with the Marvel series, series, series flow, but they're breaking out Kang again, and he's a brother, but it's serious to look and now he's other. <laughs> now he's a brother. We're talking about it. But it shows you how these blue people a lot of times are really supposed to be these uh, so called Negroes. You know what I'm saying? And they just make them blue just to make it like, you know, comical, like a comic, yada, yada. Or maybe we was blue. I don't know, man. But hey, man. <laughs> it's more and more, more war. He gives him the apple. All right. He's going to say something very important about the apple. Listen close. I'll read the the subtitles, man. Uh, here lies, here lies the, seed the seed of man's, man's first disobedience. Remember, the apple, the apple in the garden of Eden, and then it, then it opened, opened up their eyes to sin or the world of sin or whatever. And now, and now they were able to, uh, you know, do this, do this and that because they had this knowledge, knowledge right? They, they had this intelligence that they didn't have before. I mean, there's many ways to perceive this, um, you know. Apple and the Eden situation. But they're looking at it like technology. So I think we should look at it like technology for that. Here lies the seed of man's first disobedience. Think about it like technology. Let's go. The seed of free will itself. I remember this uh, scientist out there. And the dude was talking, talking about, about being able to turn off certain, off certain neurons, neurons in your brain, brain. Um, any, type any type of, of a, what do you call like radical, radical um, fanatical, fanatical genes, genes or whatever, where you, where can't, you can't be, be fanatical, fanatical, about fanatical about anything, where you can't be emotionally, emotionally charged up at all. At all. Like they can turn, turn off certain of your, of your, of your neuron uh, receivers, man, where you're, you're not even excited, excited no more about anything. What so what does this technology have to do with taking away our free, free will itself? You know, you know, we, know we got the ability to choose up, but, but has, have, we have we been under some, some spell? spell? <laughs> and, this and this is, is you know, you know this, this technology aided in a, our, slumber, our slumber, our stupor, uh, our us not, us not caring about, about getting our land, land back no more. more. You know, stuff us, like that. Us not, us not caring, caring about drinking, drinking real, real water no more. You know what I mean? Eating, eating real, real food. food. You know, we don't, we don't care about what they, what they spread above us. We just, we just don't care. We're different. different. Is, it Is it technology behind this? Uh-oh. Thanks to the apple of Eden. No more words. If you usher us into a new age, one of the peaks, whose peaks, but he represents, represents the Catholic Church, 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 so their peace ain't, ain't, ain't your peace. Their peace, their peace ain't, ain't your shallow bar. So their, so their peace is invading, invading you, conquering you, you forever, forever boss. Forever, 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 no land for the night. Never. never. Because they're, because they're invading you. You might, you be, might at be at peace. Because you feel like, you like, look, I can go to the mall and, and I can live my life. Yeah, as, yeah, as long as you agree, agree with the invasion, you can, right? <laughs> Their peace, peace ain't, ain't your peace. peace. 
which all the war populations, populations of mankind, of mankind everybody that's at war against, against us, against, against Rome, Rome or against, or against uh, uh, the Catholic, Catholic Church, Church or, or against, against whatever tribes, tribes are behind this Psalms 83 Confederacy. Let's go. Shall bow in perfect obedience. So this so technology, technology reminds, reminds me of that uh, uh, emerald, emerald tablet with thoughts, you know, to Udi, and he put that slave, slave vibration on the, on the indigenous Nagas of Kemet, having, having them cower at his feet and his magic sciences. Yeah, man, read the emerald tablet. Thoughts put a slave vibration, made them bow in perfect obedience, boss. What's it got to do with Thoth, man? <laughs> what's, the what's the apple, apple? what's, what's the, the technology that makes you bow power at their Hollywood magic, magic site <laughs> to, to our one temple rule. rule yeah man to, to hijack city, city now I'm skipping ahead a little bit cause, cause I'm just trying to learn, learn more about this apple situation, situation. Now, now they, they said they found it in fact let me go to the we go to the, go intro, to the intro, because it says something, something really in interesting the in the intro, intro man. Let me get some the intro. There you there see a caboose ball. For centuries, the order, the order, order of the Knights nice Templar have searched, have searched for the mythological apple of Eden. They, they believe it contains not, not only the seeds, seeds of man's first disobedience, but the key to free will itself. How does, How does this apple, apple you see its technology, I'm going to show you the clip at the end. What is what this technology, technology got to do with the key, with the key to free will, my life? And what, and what is, is the seed of man's first disobedience? If you're, if you're thinking, thinking about it like high technology, technology. let's go. If they, if they find the relic, relic and decode its secrets, they will, they will have, have the power to control all freedom of thought, thought by money. Ain't that, Ain't that kind of what they're doing now? With this 440 hertz and this Wi Fi and uh, all, uh, all these towers, towers you know what I'm saying? Ain't that what, Ain't that what they're doing, doing now? In the, in the frequency here? war? Quiet, quiet weapons. weapons. Silent, Silent weapons, weapons, quiet war. To control, to control all freedom of thought. Ain't that, Ain't that what they're doing now with the tender rolling? Alright, so, right, so only, only the brotherhood, the brotherhood of what they call, call the assassins, who would this really, really be, you know what I'm saying? Solomon and them, Sylvanus to Texas and them. You know, you know, they're talking about, about Templars, Templars in a negative, negative way. You know, you know what I'm saying? But we know the original Templars were, were our people, were, were Israel, protecting, protecting the secrets of Israel. Solomon's, Solomon's treasures, treasures, you know what I'm saying? King David's treasures and all that. So we know, we know what the Templar Templar really is. Hey, I'm to the Templar. Earth, we know what the Templar is. So, you know, when I put it this mouth, let's get this piece right here. They're saying this thing's over with Columbus, man. What Columbus got to do with this technology, huh? What's Columbus got to do with Thank 